every other married or engaged woman out there has now got this massive diamond ring. It's almost like long gone are those modest times where rings would look more like this. Instead, now we're seeing every other influencer or person on Pinterest or other completely random women. Everybody seems to have rings that cost a fortune. So when I used to spend time in high society circles, I really did notice that the carrot size was really important. It was almost like this carrot size obsession. Like you would hear women talk behind each other's backs and they would be saying things like, Oh yeah, her diamond might be big, but uh, did you see how cloudy it looked? Did you see? the awful color of the stone ah! because bigger is always better in high society circles what's scaring me is how this diamond ring obsession has now reached the average person i mean haven't you seen memes like this you know this has really become a thing almost like some form of mockery going around and being normalized as if if you have a small diamond you're a loser loser now the engagement ring is not just symbolizing the love and union of your spouse and you it's actually symbolizing also the level of your success as a woman, we are now defining our own worth based on a stupid stone that you find in the ground. Now, this comparison game has really now made keeping up with the Jonas's 2.0 stronger than ever before. And that is simply because of the widespread of information. If you just have a look around what's happening online, it literally does look like everyone has made it. Everyone is rich. Everyone has this massive stone. Well, everyone but yourself. And this feeling of being singled out is really going to test you. Are you strong enough in your own self-worth to really see past all of this? Or will your uncertainty of yourself lead you in a direction where you feel, I also need a ring of this size so that I can be seen as fill in the blank. And obviously this fill in the blank, it can mean anything literally because there are so many ways that a big ring can prove someone's worth. I think generally speaking, the big ring is literally gonna make a person feel almost part of some, you know, cool kids club. And yeah, I know that sounds very high school, but you know, it kind of is at the same time. <laughs> it symbolizes some form of belonging, some form of status, some form of validation of success. And if you have an insecurity that somehow gets triggered, if you are not seen in a certain light, then hell yes, you're going to go for that chase for that material item because you need that in your arsenal. Otherwise you feel incomplete. You don't feel good about yourself. You feel less than the others. <laughs> But let me tell you the story about my engagement ring. So I have a four carat brilliant cut diamond that I selected together with my husband. And so when I got to choose my kind of ring, obviously, like I wasn't going to ask for something small, but I wanted to have like a diamond that was, you know, big, but not too big, because in the end of the day, I want to wear my ring in my everyday life. And then from what I understood, a big sized carrot is considered anything above three carrots. So for this reason, my four carat ring really felt like, you know, that's a good medium. It's not too flashy. It's not, you know, too dangerous to wear around here. And by the way, I just want to tell you that big diamond rings were for many, many years on my law of attraction vision board. You know, when I was in the process of leveling up, and I have shared about my law of attraction practice in a previous YouTube video. So make sure you watch that one after this video, because the bizarre thing is that I actually ended up really attracting almost everything that was on that vision board. I'm actually teaching this exact practice of what I've done. And I break down every single step of my habits and rituals of my manifestation technique. If you go to this masterclass that I have created and I'm sharing it on manifestwithannabay.com. So go to this URL if you want to join this masterclass. Now going back to my carrot size. For some people, it's not big enough. For some people, it's massive. Obviously, this is nothing in comparison to like someone like JLo who has like a 15 karat diamond ring, you know, deep down for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. I had internalized within myself that a successful woman who has leveled up, well, 
she has a certain kind of ring. She doesn't just wear a 0.5 carat, which is the average ring size in Europe. And in the US, the average ring size is about 1.2 carats. So I had internalized that I needed this, you know, big diamond. And the first reasons, I'm sure you can guess, but that has to do with the surroundings. Like everything from mass media to pop culture to, you know, social media. And of course, also the circles that we socialize in. So all our surroundings are feeding us information and feeding us standards and what success looks like and how you should be. And I kind of feel like the stereotype of a successful, you know, high value woman is always a woman with a big ring. But so all of this was also internalized by myself because I just wasn't fully, fully, entirely secure in myself to withstand that information and not allowing it to get absorbed. I know that some of you are probably, you know, screaming behind your screens right now and just defending your big rings and saying that you did not get your big ring because of any insecurity. Is it wrong to have a big stone? Like, what's this conversation about? Like, should we do size shaming now? <laughs> Obviously not. I mean, I'm not gonna get rid of my ring. I love my ring. It's not about, oh my goodness, big is bad. <laughs> I just wanna add a little bit of nuance to an important conversation, you know, that we don't really have often in the world <laughs> that is primarily giving us the opposite type of propaganda. <laughs> And I don't think we should, you know, limit ourselves. Like we should enjoy those things. We should enjoy the finer things in life. And I'm not going to stop enjoying it. That's for sure. But one of my kind of main focuses right now in life and also on my own leveling up journey, I want to have a balanced approach to these things because ultimately it's not really about the size. It's about the meaning behind. I want you to start thinking about like, how much is enough? Like how big of a carrot is actually enough for you to feel loved? Do you even need a carrot to prove to you that you are loved? And I'm sure that when people have seen my posts, like my outfit pictures or me living my life, that yeah, maybe it all looks really aspirational, maybe luxurious. I'm sure it looks a certain way. And I don't know, maybe I have negatively influenced someone to think a certain way and to compare themselves and think that whatever they have is not good enough. So I guess that's also another reason to why I really wanted to have this conversation with you today to add some balance to a social media world that really does feel quite Im imbalanced sometimes. I was really curious to find out like how many celebrities are actually wearing small kind of size diamonds. I noticed that huh, there's not a lot of articles actually about this. I mean, there are a few, but not that many. Most articles are about the big size rings. Like it's all about the lavishness, the 15 carats, and let's make the mass market audience salivate over kind of the unattainable, right? At the same time, let's just scream at them that this is what success means because Kim K, she's wearing it, JLo is wearing it, everybody's wearing it but you. But who is actually wearing what is considered a small diamond carrot size? Well, it was interesting because I came across that Michelle Obama Amy Adams and Julia Stiles are some of those few, probably, who are actually really proudly wearing about one carat on their finger. And they seem pretty happy. In the two carat department, we found Miranda Kerr and Kiera Knightley. What I personally found really, really inspiring is actually when I came across an article that Priscilla Sean, which is the wife of billionaire Mark Zuckerberg, she doesn't even wear a diamond. She actually has a ruby ring worth $25,000. For many people, this is a lot of money, okay? However, in high society circles, when a person is married to a billionaire, that's kind of seen a bit as a joke. And I know like the old me would be completely like flabbergasted about this and find it just so bizarre. But I've actually changed perspective over the years. I have really been thinking and reflecting about this quite a lot. And today, I actually find Priscilla Sean to be very aspirational. And the reason why I find this to be so incredibly inspirational is because of what that tells us about this person. She has something way bigger than just a big stone. She actually has got balls. Oh yeah, she has got big, big balls.
you might genuinely feel like, no, the bigger the better. Is that actually true? And you know, as I've had now my experience with this size of ring, I have a little bit of perspective that I wanna add. A few pros and cons. And I wanna start with the pros. First and foremost, the bigger the stone, obviously the bigger the financial investment. Show me the money! It might also be, you know, a financial backup plan if things go south with your partner. I mean, hopefully not, but you know. For sure, it has some form of important symbolic meaning and sometimes we wanna look at this, you know, big stone that we're proud of and really just feel energized by it. And then of course, even though this is perhaps a little bit cringe to admit, but the bigger the stone is, the more help we get with our own self-image because you then feel like you are a woman of a certain status when you have a big stone. But what about the cons? It's not always comfortable to wear a big stone, especially the bigger you go, the more the stone might keep sliding around your finger no matter how tight of a wedding band you have. You're always gonna have safety concerns the bigger stone you get. I mean, don't think that you can wear, I don't know, a 10 carat ring just like that running your errands every day. You're gonna be a target for robbery. Also not always practical to have a big stone, especially like if you wear gloves. Like it can feel in the way if it's big, if it's chunky. The bigger the stone is, the more the imperfections of the stone is gonna show. Versus if you would have a smaller stone and you have imperfections in that stone, they wouldn't be as visible. Lastly, come on, let's be honest. <laughs> if you have a big diamond ring, people are gonna notice it and people will most likely perceive you as a rich person. Now, many of you might think that that's brilliant, exactly what you want, but actually, it's not always favorable to be perceived as rich. Because first and foremost, like you're always gonna get higher prices and higher price quotations because people just think that you have endless amount of money so they can overcharge you. So no, bigger is not always better. There are always pros and cons to every situation. Now, in my next video, I'm gonna continue helping you level up in all aspects of your life. So hop on over to any of these videos and I will see you there.